we are going to learn about the project folder inside Android Studio. So if we scroll up and we click on the project, we have multiple options. And we have learned about this, talked about you can use the project and you can use Android, okay? So what are the folders here inside the project? Let me select the Android. We have the app and we have the Gradle scripts. The first app folder contains different type of app models, the source code files and the resources for files. You will explore all the folders and files in Android app. And we will work later on in the very deep with these folders and files. We have the manifest, we have the Java source code and the resources, okay? So first of all, if we click on the manifest, it will open for us a file like this. It contains the code and a bunch of codes. The manifest folder contains the manifest.xml for our creating the, for creating our Android application. This file contains information about our application, such as Android version, Android version, the metadata, the state pack, states packages for uh, the Kotlin file, if you are uh, using the Kotlin, and other application components. Also like the user, uh, the permission, like if you use the permissions, here, like the features, the permissions, and others, okay? So this is like an identity. It works like as an identity or uh, like a, a, summar a summary of what we, uh, what our application will uh, will uh, demand, like in permission, in terms of permissions, what, how, uh, what activities it contains, what is the launcher activity, what is the first activity, or what is the first screen that the user will be uh, displaying when opening the app. So it's very important. It acts as an intermediator between the Android OS and our application. And later when we upload our application to Play Store, it took the information from this file, okay? So we will see its importance uh, later on when dealing with such files. <clears throat> the Java folder. Let me close these. The Java folder contains all the Java and Kotlin source codes, .java files, which were we created during the app development, including other tests files. So these are the tests, the test files. We are not going to make anything with them till now. Later on, we are going to write the test in the advanced uh, steps and advanced section, but till now we are uh, interested in making here the code. So in this file, main Java, active, main activity.java, it is a file of type Java. We write the codes here. We will see it later on, but all the codes we're using Java will be implemented here. So we can create new, Java class, Kotlin class, and others, okay? Activities and others, okay? So this pack, this folder will act as a source code or Java codes that we are going to create in terms of activity, in terms of classes, interfaces, and so on. So the basic codes, that, the codes that we are going to write is inside this the folder. If we create any new project using Kotlin, by default, the class file mainactivity.kt file will create automatically under the package. But the while using Java, also the same. If we create anything, any if we create any Java class here, like a test, it will be implemented under the package 
com.mastercoding.hello world. So this is the name of the folder and it has been created here. So I will delete it now and everything work fine. Let's move to the third subfolder of the app folder. The resources folder. The resources folder is the most important folder because it contains all the non-code sources like images, XML layouts, UI strings for our application and, and many others, okay? So it contains four subfolders. The first one is the drawable. It contains the different type of images used for the development of the application. We need to add all the images in drawable folder for the application development. If we click on this, this is the default image of the of Android Studio, and this is the icon. So these are the default images found inside any application. You put here the images, you put here the any media that you are going to make and any uh, things and vectors and layouts that you are going to create um, in terms of drawing. The layout folder. The layout folder contains all XML layout files, which were which we, we used to define the user interface for our application. If we click on this, mainactivity.xml, you see guys, .xml, xml, this means that it is a markup language and used for displaying the, um, the codes and displaying the layouts of the folder, of the file. Okay, so this is our application. This is the blueprint, and this is our uh, real application where it will be displayed for your activities and inside or your uh, uh, real device or your emulator. Okay, if we scroll down here, we see that this is the code editor. Okay, in next video, we are going to check what is uh, the design, the split, and the code. But till now, it's very simple to understand that the, resource, the layout folder contains all the layouts that will be used to define the user interface for every activity. We can switch between the design. This is the code. This is the layout editor, the split. You can see the you write the code here and you can see it directly or you can write the code here without uh, interference and then you select the design and see and update the code and update the UI with the code that you have written. Okay. We will continue with our MIP uh, with our resources folder and we will see the MIP map folder. The MIP map folder, let me close this. The MIP map folder contains launcher.xml to define the icons which are used to show on the home screen. It contains different density types of icons, depends on upon the size of, of the device, such as HDPI, MDPI, and HDPI. Uh, HD icons, uh, medium icons, and so on. So defining the icons later on will be in this folder, okay? The values. The values folder contains a number of XML files like strings. This is the string, the name of defining the app. And we will see these files in details later on. And trust me, guys, it may be confused for you for seeing the first time in Red Studio. But I th trust me, guys, it will be very familiar and very useful and very interactive uh, experience with Android Studio and its environment. So... <clears throat> Like uh, it contains uh, the strings.xml, the dimensions.xml, the colors and the styles, definition, the scenes, and others. Okay. 
One of the important finds is the string.xml because it contains the resources, the string resources. So you can define here the resource, the string resources for the text or others. Uh, and you can translate them here. And Android Studio will act uh, as very smart. And when you're compiling the application, it will get the correct string manipulation in a, a specific language for defined by the user and display the resources. So we are going to define all the uh, text uh, resources inside the strings example. We have finished the app folder. Let's go to the Gradle script. Gradle means automated build system. And it contains number of files which are used to define and, and build configuration, which can be applied to all models in our app. In build.gradle, we have build.gradle and build.gradle, two files the same, but one for the project level and one for the model level. So, Gradle means automated build system and it contains a number of files which are used to define an, a build configuration which can be applied to all the models in our application. We have the project. This is the project and we have model level, okay, or app level. In the build project, build.gradle project, there are build scripts and in the build gradle model also we have plugins implementation and are used to build configuration that can be applied to all our application models we will see these dependencies later on so we are not very uh, very uh, rush in our um, lecturing and our coding process and in our coding career so this is a very quick app, uh, look out for the project folder and its uh, structure. I hope you benefit from this lecture. And in the next videos, we are going to continue with the structures. And uh, we are going to learn more about the, co the contents of Android.